Hey YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and today we're going to be doing a battery replacement on a copy of Super Mario Bros. All-Stars. So this game still saves um, no problems, but there is uh, an issue with it, and that is the uh, original save battery in here is down to less than a volt, so um, I pretty much know it's only a matter of time before I lose all my save data. So before I get too far in this game, I'm just going to replace the save battery. Um, which will pretty much erase my save data, but it'll basically ensure that when I do progress in the game far enough that I won't have to worry about it dying. So there's a, mo a number of different ways that you can go about replacing these save batteries. Um, the one I'm going to show you is the easiest way, which involves basically removing the old battery and um, installing a new one without soldering or anything like that. Um, there's another technique where you can actually um, solder the new battery onto the tabs which works fine that's what I'm gonna actually do after I show you the uh, the tape technique um, or you can actually um, buy these save batteries with uh, the um, what do you call it the little uh, save term or the little uh, terminals already soldered onto there and then you just pretty much solder that battery onto the board um, there is another one too where you can buy a battery holder and install that so this way you can swap it out but honestly um, these batteries have been in here for like 20 years and I don't really see the need to go through the whole thing of buying a uh, you know a, a battery holder so let's uh, get in a closer look here and see what's going on inside this car alright guys so we're back and uh, we're gonna take this cartridge apart so these two screws in the front here have to come out, and if you've ever cleaned any of these cartridges, it's basically just like cleaning up your cartridge. And I have this uh, special tool here, so this is a three and a half millimeter um, game bit, or security bit. You can get these on Amazon or whatever. So uh, again, this is a perfect example of why you can't always judge a book by its cover, because I have what appears to be a uh, mint condition cartridge. Um, but obviously, um, I don't know, I guess the battery in it just, uh, just died. My other cartridge that I had before this one, remember I swapped the label out? Uh, my other cartridge that I had before this one, um, was pretty much in just as good a condition. However, I like, um, this one because it has the, uh, original label design. I don't really like all the, um, the re-release labels where, uh, Nintendo put, like, gold on it instead of the red or whatever color it's supposed to be in that stupid little, um, you know, um, I guess like little banner thing or whatever the hell it was that they put on there. Um, so, or ribbon, I guess is what it would be called. So we'll put the shell aside. Okay, so here's the PCB. So here's your game ROM here. Uh, here's your chip where it actually saves the game data. This is your security chip. And I believe this chip right here uh, basically creates the game image and sends it to the memory. Oops, excuse me. And then we have a, a capacitor here for smoothing out current. Um, so we're going to remove this little pinch weld here and then I will show you the tape method. So with this one it's uh, a little bit tight in there but there's just enough room in there to actually stick a piece of uh, electrical tape between the uh, battery here. So. Let's uh, get a close-up of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my little flathead screwdriver and pry up these little uh, pinch welds here. And mind you, when you do this, you are going to lose all your save data. However, since I, uh, I mentioned before that this battery has less than a volt, um, it's pretty much um, a losing battle anyway, so I'm going to lose my save data um, either way. So I'm going to take the uh, pin here and I'm going to be very gentle so I don't uh, ruin it at all. So we're just going to take the uh, screwdriver and gently work it under. So I'm going to kind of work at it and fatigue the metal until it does come off. Sides off, and now just got to work at this side. Oops, I bent it. Got to be careful with that. And now the bottom needs to come off. So, this can be fixed by the way, so don't worry about that being uh, mangled or whatever. 
get a pair of uh, needle nose pliers on that and fix it right up. Um, yeah. Pretty much it. All right, so one's off, and now the other one. Okay, so the button battery has been removed, and as it totally rolls on the floor. Okay, so now we're we've removed the battery, so it looks like complete shit. So I'm gonna take. Um, needle nose pliers now and just straighten out those pins okay so we have our uh, needle nose pliers so I'm going to use this to straighten out the metal tabs size of this one so the proper way to do this would be to actually get a button battery that has the uh, tabs already soldered to it, but this will also work. So we have our uh, CR2032 batteries. Um, I just have to open them up with something. Okay, so here's your battery. So peel off the negative side, like so, and there you go. So that's negative, this is positive. And if you look on the uh, board here, it's actually, it even tells you which battery to replace it with in case you forget. So it says here, uh, CR2032 on the board, so you can't get any easier than that. Um, so we'll slide this in here. Like so. And then after this, you can either straighten out the pins a little bit more if you don't like how that looks. So I might just do that. Or you can take some electrical tape and fix it up. So before I tape this up, I want to show you that I actually straightened out these pins and I did so in a manner that will put a snug fit on the battery so that when I slide it in, oops, it will uh, stay put. So it's not going anywhere and basically I just have to now wrap a little piece of electrical tape around it just so um, you know nothing moves around here. Okay, so I've cut myself a small little piece of electrical tape here that I'm going to use to wrap around the battery. So I'm going to take the electrical tape and slide it under the board, or under where the battery goes, and hopefully it'll come out the other side without snagging on anything. So i got to watch for that little capacitor right there. Um, so maybe I could do this the other way, but we'll see how this goes. Oops. Okay, so that's pretty much where I want it. And then we just take the tape. Oops. Put that on there like that. And then this one will go over here like that. And that's pretty much it. So this is just to keep the uh, the battery in place now so it won't go anywhere. And um, that's pretty much it. So your repair is now done and you can uh, reassemble it like this. Or you can try my method which is actually soldering the top tab to the battery itself with a very small little blob of solder. Um, so your choice. So let's try the other method. Okay, so we're going to solder the battery to the little uh, terminal now. Um, one of the things that I have done here is taken a little uh, sanding block here and actually sanded down the um, Energizer logo so that the solder will stick to the top tab. Just needed to get a little tiny blob on it. So something to note here is that um, you need to actually get the uh, <laughs> the solder has to stick to the um, the sanded part because otherwise it will not stick to the chromed part of the uh, battery. So that's why you need to sand it down and also get or expose some of the um, 
uh, what do you call it, the uh, sanded part of the battery. Um, so that's pretty much it. And this battery is good to go. So, I mean, I like doing this because this is more of a permanent method. Um, this can obviously be removed, though, since there is just a tiny little blob of solder on there. But, you know, it's it's not going anywhere. It's on there for good, and uh, that's it. So, um, hopefully this battery will not have to be changed for uh, another 20 years. Um, and that's it. So, let's uh, put the cartridge back together now and uh, see if it works. So to reassemble your Super Nintendo cartridge, you need to get the back piece. And this board can only go in one way. So it goes in like this. Oops. Like this. And it has little key, oops, little cutouts here. So right here and here. So it cannot be installed the wrong way. So if I try to put it in this way, you see it won't sit in there properly. So we'll put it in here. And then the top cover needs to uh, line up here with these little tabs, so these little holes here in the top. So I'm going to put them in there like so, and then lay it down. And you see how they went in? And like everything else I do here when it comes to uh, plastic screws at least, take the screws and turn them backwards, and you hear a click. And same thing with this one. So let's uh, test it out and see if it works. Just something funny here. This battery was uh, manufactured in September of 1993. You can see right there. So this is the old safe battery. 1993, man, that's crazy. That's how many years this thing's been been stuck in there over 20 years nuts okay guys so we got my uh, Super Nintendo all powered up well not powered up but hooked up whatever um, so here's the cartridge and we're gonna see if it saves So everything is going to be blank on here. So select that one. Okay, so I got the uh, flute, um, so I'm on World 4, I saved the game at World 4, so let's turn the console off and see if my game saved. saves my game. So I should be at World 4 in Super Mario Bros. 3. World 4, good. Perfect. So it works. And that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks for watching.